I need an empty plastic bag. I will. I need to cut some aluminum panels out of some aluminum cans. And when I do that, the can can't be bent. I have to cut it around here and around the bottom and then flatten them out and their panels i have a lady that does crafts out of aluminum pieces and she buys the panels from me for 10 cents a piece so that's uh, that's way more profitable than crushing this can and selling it for scrap because for scrap I'm only going to get uh, 31 cents a pound and it takes about 31 or 32 cans to weigh a pound so I can take and cut panels out of three cans and get as much as I would get for 30 of these cans or thereabouts and I even get more uh, for these here because they're wider and it's a little bit heavier uh, aluminum so I got to go through these and get all the good ones out that's not crushed that's why I don't like to crush all my cans but that's just another way to skin a cat you know uh, the way scrap prices the, the prices are so low now that you have to think outside the box. So I'm gonna sit in one day and cut nothing but panels. Um, it, it it's just profitable, and it don't matter where they're beer can, drink cans, because she uses the shiny side, the inside up is what she uses. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. And it is almost four o'clock <clears throat> on Sunday in the PM. I just got out of my PJs and got myself dressed and got my shoes on. And I need to go to Publix. Uh, and I got some lady friends that I'm pretty sure I know Miss Caroline's got cans out for me and I'm pretty sure Miss Ashley does and another lady I can't remember her name I'm gonna have to see her again and jog my memory I, I hate not knowing a name on somebody that that helps me out regular and these people that hang their cans out for me, that's kind of like they're supporting my channel when they do that because they, it's, more, it's how little it is, you know, but it's, 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 uh, it's supporting my channel. And I don't need to let that stuff hang on their fence for days on end. I try to go by most every day. I didn't do anything yesterday. I didn't even get dressed. Uh, I had my life, well, I, I got kind of semi-dressed. I had my lives and I went to the Crazy Family Tubes live. Um, but, <laughs> should I tell them this? <laughs> but I was sitting there in my drawers <laughs> on live. I had my shirt on. They can't see nothing. <laughs> but I was sitting there in my drawers 
Ah, should I even mention that? <laughs> but, it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of like when Lyndon Baines Johnson was president, he was known for sitting on the toilet and making these international calls and stuff sitting there on the toilet. Um, all right, my lady friend there's got no cans out. I didn't expect her to. She might next week. She does them about twice a month. So anyhow, oops, let me look in that box. I don't want to pass nothing up since I had such a terrible Friday scrap day. I mean, it was nothing. I mean, it was slim. I mean, I got a few cans, but that was about it. But I did have a nice meeting with Mitch. He was out twice getting in the garbage, of course. And I actually cleaned up two different garbage cans he had dumped and put stuff back in the in the uh, cans. I hadn't seen Lauren. She's one. She's she's Mitch's caretaker, and I hadn't been able. To. Of course, she knows he's getting in that garbage, and she tries to clean it up if she sees it. And if I see it, I'll clean it up. I love Mitch. I meant to bring my. I'm gonna start bringing a hair, dog brush with me because I want to brush his. I want to give him a brush in the next time I see him. But I understand he's 14 years old. So big dogs like that, they don't live much past, I'd say 12 to 18 years. And, and uh, small dogs live longer. Small dogs can live upwards around 20 something. Like them small dogs right there, them three there. That that they be around a while. I like my small dogs. Of course, I used to raise Rottweilers, so who knows? I got rid of my Rottweilers. I had I had a kennel, and I was raising them things. Uh, I wasn't doing the training, but I was raising them, and I had another guy that was training them. Uh, and we train them for different things. We train them for Schutzen training, which is a competition type thing for dogs. And uh, we raised them for guard dogs. Uh, we raised them for tracking. But most of my dogs were uh, guard dogs, attack dogs. And when my grandson was born in 1990 and he got up around two or three and he started going out to the kennel and messing with the doors and all that stuff. And I got scared about whether he might actually get out there when I didn't know it and opened out the door and let one of them suckers out that would actually really hurt him so going across going across and i see two cans i see two cans There's that one, and I see a vodka bottle. That'll go there. I'll pick the vodka bottle up too. It's trash. How about that for a bottle, Mr. Steve Diamond? Uh. 
my friend, my friend Steve, he digs bottles, antique bottles and stuff. Look what I've seen. This, it's not a blue bottle, but it's a little bottle. And here lately, I, and it's got the lid, and I got a thing for little bottles now for some dang reason. <laughs> Dauber, you are one weird old man. You got a little bottle fetish. It's, it's, it's a nice day, and look at that beautiful blue sky and them white clouds, just look at that. Ah, just look up there at all that. Can you see it? Do I have my camera set right? Yeah, there you go. The world is a beautiful place if you just pay attention. And you don't have to, there's some boxes. They had a yard sale here the other day. I wonder how they did. I wonder how they did, and they're not set up now. I guess that was just a Friday and Saturday deal. Oh my goodness, I see a man on a handicapped cart, and I think he's the one that goes around looking for cans. I hope he ain't found mine, Dad Gone it. Or is that my lady friend on the big scooter? I can't quite make it out. Nope, that's not, that's not her. Hello there. Hello, how are you? All right, you doing all right? Where you been, the Publix? Yeah, where are you up to? That's where I go to. Uh, oh, that's right here in the way almost. Mm -hmm. but, I don't see you riding around much. Hmm? I don't see you riding around much. You don't? I'm every day. You're not Bob. Hmm? You're not Bob. Bob? Yeah, no. Used to ride no, I know there's another man that comes around every once in a while picking up cans and stuff. And yeah, he moved to Wisdale. He done what? He moved to Wisdale. Really? Yeah, you live around here? Yeah, I knew he picked up cans and everything because that's what I do. Oh. And, um, my, and I pick up trash too, you know, if I see it laying around, right. it's handy. I'll just drop it in the can over at Publix. But uh, I live, I'm going to give you one of my cards. I do this all the time. I don't, oh, let me get around there and let's get, let's get here. over here a minute. I have a camera tattoo. Oh, you got a scooter, you know, you got a power chair. Do what now? You got a scooter too. I didn't hear you. You got a scooter like me too. Uh, yeah, this one come. They, I had a choice of one like that or one with the four wheels on it, and I wanted the four wheels because I'm bending over and stuff a lot, picking up stuff. Yeah, they were supposed to give me four wheels, but they ran out of them. Yeah. This one, the VA gave me this. Didn't cost, I don't guess yours cost anything either, did it? Uh, I got some care one. But I got a question, Jesse. You a VA member, right? Ma'am? You're from the VA. Yeah. My husband was a VA. Is he? I got campus for life. They pay for, um, you know, they don't, they pay for my prescription. I have to pay for them. But I get, I got life care for, I got campus for life. Mm-hmm. Can I get a chair through them? How would I go about doing that? Do what now? Getting a chair from them. Yeah, did he get one from them? No, he didn't get one from them, but all his medical was free, but I was his wife, and I get, and he died, and I get campus for life. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, this comes through the VA. I'm a veteran. Um, How would I go about 
seen if I could get one. I had one. Contact call, contact the VA and and uh, tell them, and they'll they'll send you to Gainesville, and they'll they'll you know, and they'll and you can ride the shuttle to Gainesville if you go over to the VA clinic over here. Mm -hmm. The shuttle leaves every morning around 7:30. And they'll take you to Gainesville and back, and you go in there, and they got all these scooters sitting around. You pick out the one you want, and Do I have to get a doctor's approval and everything. Mm -hmm. I got to get a doctor's approval and everything. Uh, if you go to VA, if you got benefits there, it, they, they'll take care of it. Yeah, see, I just got this from through Medicare, but I want one that is more sturdy, and I can. This keeps breaking down. I've only had it about two months. Yeah. I got it from Care, Care Plus. And I had one that was power chair. I got through Medicare and that I had for five years. And I'm entitled to another one, but I can't get a hold of them now. I don't yeah. know. How, how old a lady are you? Seventy. Seventy what? Seventy-two. It just turned Seventy-two. 72. You're not as old as I am. How old are you? I'm 78. Oh, by the way, what's your name? Mm hmm? What's your name? Russell. My it's name. right on there on the card. Oh. It's right on the That's card. How dumb I am. And if you ever got anything like it's on the back of that card that you want to throw out, you just yeah. call me and I'll uh, yeah. I'll come get it. Oh, good. And if it's too big to haul on my scooter, I'll bring my daughter's car. She lets me use the car when I need it. Oh, that's good. What's your name? Barbara. Barbara? Yeah. Okay. Um, have you seen that lady that comes down through here every once in a while? She's on a real big scooter. And it's super fast. That thing goes 20 miles an hour. It's got 16-inch wheels on it. It's huge. She goes to public, and she's not allowed to drive for some reason. And that's why she's got that. But she lives on that down there where that stop sign's at. Oh. Um, she lives down that street to the left somewhere. Well, I haven't seen her. Hmm. I haven't seen her. Uh, I I don't think she gets out that much, but uh, I run into her every once in a while. Usually, I run into her right here, and um. Uh, I'm out every day. I'm surprised I haven't met you yet. Do what? I'm out every day riding kids, my two grandkids around. Uh, well, usually when I'm coming through, it's going to be around 7, 30, 8 o'clock oh. in the morning. By then, oh, I'm not up at that time. But, uh, I, 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 but I, now I didn't get out yesterday, and I'm getting out today because there's a lady down here that puts cans out for me, and Bob used to get them. Yeah. And um, she puts cans out for me. I got another lady down there that does the same thing. That's good. So when I when I got people I know that's putting cans out, I they I try to get around them. and get them so they don't be hanging around. Right, you do the same thing I do. Carry your drink with you. Yeah. Me and my soda. They probably do the same. Hey, you get I, thirsty, man. I got a cup holder on mine. Yeah, I haven't got a cup holder. And I put mirrors on the one over here. I got to re redo, oh. but this here, it kind of. I get nervous when I get out on that yeah, road. Yeah, I do too. That um, you I have, go facing the traffic. How do you go? Yeah. Do you go facing or go with it? Mm hmm. Do you go facing the traffic? Yeah, definitely facing it. I ain't going with it behind my back. I want to see who's gonna hit me. <laughs> As if it'll do any good. Yeah. At least I can see it. Won't be able to tell who did it, but I'll be able mm -hmm. to see it. And your husband passed away? Yep. How long ago? Since 2007. 2007? That's yeah. the same year my wife passed away. Mm -hmm. She she passed away in 2007 over here, at, over here at what used to be Monroe. Yeah. Um. I don't go to Monroe anymore. I don't. Ever since that place changed hands and everything, I don't it like it. It scared me to death. I went in there for a, a, some kind of bite in my hand there, and they gave me Benadryl, and I was allergic to Benadryl. It made me hallucinate. I thought everybody was robbing me and trying to kill me, raping me around and trying to kill me yeah. and everything. I thought people coming through the windows to try to get me. It was weird. 
That scared me. Yeah. Do you go on the computer at all? Nope. Nope. I don't have a lot of people around my age and your age, they, they won't go on a computer, but that's kind of, uh, that's how I earn extra money is from stuff I do. I, I, I make videos that goes on something called YouTube and, um, uh, and people subscribe to my channel and, and they send me gift. This was a gift, and the, there's several things I've got that was the, gifts from the, people. The power chair was a gift? Hmm? Your power chair? No, this here uh, cup holder. Oh, um, It's just different. You know, they they, they kind of help support me. Yeah, that's good. So, um, uh, but I, I, say, I go on YouTube all the time. I, matter of fact, I was just on YouTube. Okay, Barbara. I hope I run in. What time of day do you usually get out? I'm all the whole time running around. Usually in the afternoon or something. But, you know. Yeah. You live by yourself or with somebody? I live with my great, my daughter. I just lived out. You go past this road down 41st and third house on the left. You live with your daughter? Yeah. That's who I live with. Well, I claim she lives with me. She claims I live with her. So, but she never left home. So who knows? Oh, yeah. You know, and she's right now fifty, and yeah. I got my three grandsons there that. Um, That's the best. You know, with me, you know, and I actually I wouldn't have it. No, a lot of people say I don't see how you stand being around them grandbabies. But you can't. I got the grandbabies. Oh, oh, I'm around them all the time. My little one says, "Him, I think keeps me going." Yeah. Them little baby. Same thing here. I ride him on my scooter all the time. I usually go like Monday. Tomorrow night, my grandkid will come over about four or five o'clock, and about four o'clock or so, I go down the end of this road, and I sit on the grass with him. And you live on um, not this next row, but the next one. Not this row, but the next. Oh, and to the left? Yes. Okay, whereabouts do you live down there? About three houses, the yellow house on the left. On the left? Yeah. I might try to come by and see you sometime then, you know, when I'm just out and about. And That'll I'll... be nice you sit outside. And, um, hmm. I mean, uh... Give me somebody to talk to. I, I'm not like... I'm not really lonesome or anything, you know, but you my, because I've got my to. grandkids and stuff there and my daughter, they don't but want to talk to you. I just love to get out and talk to people and, and be around you them. You're the right person because I love to talk. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go to Publix together. <laughs> yeah. Are you from Florida? I'm from Massachusetts. Originally. Massachusetts. Yeah. Oh, how in the world y'all get down here? My husband, my first husband, he he went to Florida, so he came down in '74. Yeah. Well, Barbara, I gotta get on the I public. Get home for my daughter, forget can't figure out where I am. Okay, dear. Yeah. I, I'm sure glad I met you. Me too. I'm glad. And I'll try and I'll try and see you sometime, dear. You can sit out in the yard or something and talk. Okay. All right, if bye, I dear. Soda, I got to have some. I got coffee. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you, dear. Yeah, well, you have a good day. Oh, they're pouring concrete down there, lash. That's what they're doing. That man wanted to drive around driveway. And that's what he's getting. A uh, drive around driveway. Wow. Well, that was Miss Barbara. And gosh, folks, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm four years older than her. But just looking, she might have had a hard life. Just looking at her, I would have thought she's up in her 80s.
but I might come by and, you know, just chit chat with her sometime. I'm not like romantically inclined or anything like that, but I just, I just like friends. I like people to talk to. Um, and her husband died the same year my wife died, 2007. Um, and Bob, the guy that used to come down through here on a scooter picking up cans from the neighbors, he don't do it anymore. Yeah, she's 70, 72. Ah, my goodness. Shoot, maybe me and her can meet up one day and go down to Publix together. Maybe. Well, Miss Ashley usually sits outside here, but I don't. She's not sitting out there, and is there any cans? Yes, there's some cans there. Yes, there's some cans sitting there. Every little bit helps, my friends. Be careful on this highway. That's the last one now, and there's none the other way, so away we go. There's my swamp and son of a biscuit eater. I don't, can the camera pick that up? Yep. Gosh, I just seen his, I just seen it, you know, somebody at, there he goes over there, just barely moving. It's a gator, folks. Son of a gun. I'm going to have to call the um, city about that. I wonder if he know, they know that sucker's in there. It's just a small one. Maybe. I wish you'd come back. That's gonna. I can see the. I can see where he's at, but you can't see can't see him. I can see the bubbles popping up there where he's letting out air. Um. Yep. Well, that answered one of my subscribers' questions one time. Said, reckon there's any gators in there? And I said I didn't think so. But the next biggest water hole is about five miles from here. Unless somebody had a little one and decided it was getting too big and they turned it loose in here. People will do that. There was, um, what was it? Somebody turned the iguana loose in here one time. And it got pretty big. I don't know whatever happened to that thing. Son of a gun. Well, 
How about that? A gator in the swamp. I wish I had a camera that I knew how to zoom in where I could pick them things up. Oh, oh. Y'all see what I see? <laughs> a pink bottle. I'm, I'm gonna work a little bit here. I'm gonna get that sucker. Uh, I don't have many pink bottles. No, I want my pink bottle. Oh, be careful, Dauber. Dad gonna step over that thing. There we go. One pink bottle. <laughs> you old coot. Weird old, you weird old fart. You got a bottle fetish. That's my bread. I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose that. A pink bottle. That's the first pink bottle I've found in a while. Uh, oh, me. Yep. A gator in the swamp. Gators in the swamp. Heck, there could be more than one in there. It might have been, it might have been a two-footer. I was wondering. They always say pedestrians have the right of way, sometimes, most of the time. I'm wondering if somebody on a scooter, a little handicapped scooter like this, is that considered a pedestrian? I don't know. Lord have mercy, I didn't get me any... I didn't get me any dadgone sandwich meat. That, on it. I sure did. I surely didn't. Oh well. I'll have to go back tomorrow or the next day. Probably Tuesday because Tuesday's a trash day. I meet, I swear, folks, I meet the nicest dang people. Uh, you know what, though? Don't want to turn this over, Robert. Dad, you want it? I want that can, though. <laughs> Put it right there. Am I recording? Yeah. Ease up here without spilling my car. I got to get me a cup with a lid on it. That's all there is to it. One that'll fit in my holder. What's bar? I hear a dog. I don't mind dogs if I can see them and size them up when I can't see them at Oh, there he is. That's a big old, um, hmm, what do they call that? A lot of golden retriever, maybe, or what else is it? Hey, guy, what's up? You good boy? I like you too, baby. I just seen that egg, that. Cattle eagle right, right over there, that one on the left. Just caught him a lizard running across the street. He gobbled that thing up in a hurry. That was his supper. 
he gobbled that thing up in a hurry. That lizard was running too, and he caught him on the fly. Nice, nice evening. Nice evening. I wonder if Daniel and Lisa's back off of their vacation or whatever they was on. I don't know, shortly. I don't know, shortly. I have got a private live stream chat coming up with Maggie, my friend from Guam. And I guess, I guess gonna do it for Tuesday. And I want it to be around, yeah, they're home. They're home, finally. Finally they're home, today is Sunday. I bet they was on vacation. He'll be going to work tomorrow. The party's over, Daniel. I, you know what? I guess I'm just old school. I don't know why. If that Dodge 4x4 four four there was mine, it would not be jacked up like that. It would be regular tires, maybe 16's no bigger than 18, it would be down to the ground where it belongs, I just don't like that, well to start with I'd have a heck of a time climbing in that, and even that blue Ford sitting there, that's not bad. But, that's, I'm just old school. <clears throat> I'm just old school, folks. <clears throat> and this place is for sale. There's something sitting up there, I can't make it out. Looks like a dead Christmas tree or something. We'll see when I get there. Is that what it is? I see a bunch of clover over there. Yeah, that's a dead tree, a bush or something. That is an arborvita. And it's totally dead. And right there is a juniper, and it's totally dead. What about that? Two of my favorite bushes or trees. Go Dell X, custom on time deliveries. And what have we got here? Yard. Yard waste. I'm gonna go by Mitch's house. You want me to take that trash for you, sir? I can take that trash for you. Huh? You want me to take your trash? Take my trash. That's not trash. Oh, that's trying. that's the aluminum cans. My bad, man. Sorry. Yeah, here, let me give you one of my cards. Come here. Can I get two of them? I do YouTube channel. Oh, do you? Check me out. That's awesome, man. I do it all on this scooter. Thank you for your service. You're welcome, sir. Long time ago. 
Yeah, but still, thank you. Thank you, yeah. sir. Yeah, I had a ball, though. Okay. All right, you have a good day, sir. Check, you out, on YouTube. Check out my channel. We will. That was very, that was very nice of that man, a young man, and he thought I was hauling trash, and he was going to take it. That was great. That was great. That gives me, restore some of my faith I got in the younger generation, and I might have picked up another subscriber. He'll check out my channel. I'm sure he'll probably check it out. He probably will. What about that? Like I was saying, there's I, I meet some of the nicest, nicest people. There's a clear plastic bag, and there ain't nothing in there but trash. Now I'm going to stop over here at Mitch's house. and see I got a couple of questions I need to ask her that was a nice nice kid nice guy I hope he does check me out Yeah, I, I don't know. I, nice people. I just, daggone, I love people. I am a people person, and I am not this way because I'm sitting at home just being a lonely old man. I am not a lonely old man. I got my three grandsons and my daughter there. So I'm not, like, sitting around with nothing to do. I got plenty to do. I got more to do than I'm gonna get done. So therefore, I can't croak till I get my stuff done that I need to get done. Maybe that's why I don't get everything done. I don't, Cause I know if I get everything done, maybe I'm gonna croak. <laughs> Uh, is Lauren there? I wish she'd be sitting on the front porch. She ain't. She not. That's Mitch's house right there. I think she keeps him inside most of the time. a nice kid. I, that just impresses me so much. So much. What's well, going to take my trash? What about that? Makes me almost want to cry. Yep. That was the cream on the cake or cream on the pie that was that was uh, sure was I guess Joey's moved and is that What has he got sitting there? A lawnmower and a can? I might just go down there and see Joey. Ah, 
how can I be so daggone busy? Of course, I can't sit there on a computer. That's stuff I have to do, and that's, that's business, too. Yep, I'm going to run down there and see Joey, see how he settled in. And he said he had some stuff for me, so I, I want to see what that is. And I have got to take myself out to the shop tomorrow and start getting stuff processed. I, or I wind up letting stuff get piled up again, and I don't want that, and I said I won't gonna do that no more. So I need to get busy. I really do. Yeah, I'm gonna go down here and see Joey. See how he's doing. I hope he's outside. I don't know how he's gonna do all that stuff. He's got a boat, uh, I think he's got a boat. I know he's got a race car on a trailer. And he's still got stuff sitting there. The race car's sitting in the yard. And Joey's not out and I don't wanna disturb him. <laughs> he got stuff everywhere. Oh my goodness, that toolbox is out there, that ladder, topper to his truck. <laughs> he's got stuff piled everywhere, and he's got stuff for me. I need to get over here and see him. He's not outside. Yeah, got his race car piled up there. I wonder, I think that's his son's race car. And I wonder All right, Joey, I'll try to catch you tomorrow, my friend. Twenty. I don't know how he's going to do that. Cause he sure ain't got the room that he had. He had a garage over at the other house and a gate to the backyard. <coughs> I don't know, Joey. I think he was renting that other house. This one here he just bought. 119,000. Okay, I'm at the house. You know what? Look how the sun's hitting that tree right there. Can you see that? That's the Chinese elm. But that sun's hitting it. I'm gonna take a photo of that. Or it's the crazy family tube mine says, and here we go. <laughs> there we go, Marty. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, um, let me go over here and see if Miss Caroline has any 
cans, and I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. 99.9% .9 sure. Sometimes it's a lot, most of the time it's a lot, but sometimes it's just a few. I'm gonna have to get me a coffee cup with a daggone top on it, that's all there is to it. Well. See what we got here. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a few in there. Got those. And I'm gonna take the bag I got just a while ago. Got as many this time as they had last. And you know what? I think I'm gonna take the boxes this time because I got to have a fire made and I need some paper to start it. So, oh, thank you, Miss Carolyn. And I'm gonna hang these on the back. Okay, okay. Kind of quiet. Hope she's all right. I hadn't seen her. Okay. Home to Publix. Boy, that was a big splash. I got to get me a coffee cup with a lid on it. I've got some, but they're too big around to go in that holder of mine. So I met another lady friend, Miss Barbara. Uh, I swear though. Do I, do I just think I don't look old? Or 
am I not showing my true age? I don't know, because some of these people that's younger than me looks a lot older than me. I would think. Um, uh, maybe it's just me.